Murder of Charles the Good was first published in 1959 and has been reprinted several times since. It is a translation by James Bruce Ross of the 12th century account describing how Charles the Good, Count of Flanders, is murdered in the city of Bruges in the year 1127, and the chaotic events in the days and weeks afterwards. This is perhaps one of the most dramatic, gritty, and violent historical accounts from the Middle Ages. It quickly gets to the actual murder where Count Charles is brutally struck down while at prayer in the Church of St. Donation on March 2nd, 1127. For the next few days, it seemed that the conspirators behind the murder would get away with their deed, but then several groups come into the city to gain revenge. What follows is a short but bloody civil war, as Flanders falls into chaos and the murderers of Charles are being hunted down. Meanwhile, others are trying to gain the accounts thrown for themselves. Describing all this is Galbert of Bruges, a notary who worked for Count Charles, and was an eyewitness to many of the events he describes. He, his account is almost like that of a journalist, with daily entries of what is happening, often in vivid detail. The murder of Count Ch of, of Charles the Good is a fascinating text that we would recommend to anyone interested in the Middle Ages. Those interested in medieval warfare and politics will find this book quite useful, although the introduction by James Bruce Ross is a little outdated. A good supplementary book is God's Scribe, the Histographical Art of Galbert of Bruges by Jeff Ryder, which gives a more thorough and in-depth analysis of how and why Galbert wrote his account. Also, Jeff Ryder and Alan Murray have edited and recently published a book called Galbert of Bruges and the Histography of Medieval Flanders, which brings together essays about the text and the events that took place in Flanders in 1127.